Hi, welcome to this episode. Uh, this episode is very important. Uh, many of you may be wondering what has constipation got to do with diabetes. Uh, this is from my personal experience, I can tell you that about five years ago, uh, when I did not take care of my food and things, I was highly diabetic. I was type 2 diabetes still, but uh, I had a very bad round of constipation. And because of that, the stools got hardened. I started developing hemorrhoids. I lost a lot of blood in my stools. And in fact, at one point, uh, I had lost so much blood that I had to be hospitalized for almost four or five days. And then after that, I had many rounds of uh, blood transfusion and iron transfusion. Now many of you may be wondering how come diabetes can affect the bowel movements. So I'm going to be showing you a lot of uh, uh, text about uh, on the internet about how uh, diabetes can lead to severe constipation. Many of you might have heard about neuropathy. Neuropathy is nothing but the damage of the nerves because of uncontrolled diabetes. So that's where it starts. The second important thing is stress. Uh, you might have heard that stress causes high sugar levels. Uh, you might have noticed if you're a diabetic that whenever you're stressed for whatever reason, your sugar readings would be high. So what happens is when you develop this constipation and you don't take care of it, it leads to stress inside the body. It may not be mental stress, but uh, it, it does cause some kind of a um, uh, stress on the body and because of which the sugar level goes up. Now, what are the solutions for this that has worked for me? I can only tell you what has worked for me. You have to do your own study to see what works for you. For me, two things have really helped me and they are life savers to me. Number one is drinking a lot of water. I drink a minimum of three liters a day, as I showed, told you in one of my earlier shows. As soon as I wake up, the first thing I do is to have one liter of room temperature water. And then I go into my meditation. So that's the first. And then I have another half a liter uh, uh, by breakfast time and then another half a liter by lunch time and then I have another half a liter in the afternoon, late afternoons and finally another half a liter in the uh, evening uh, around dinner, post dinner. Uh, it's very important that we measure how much uh, we uh, drink water a day. Uh, soda and coffee does not count towards water intake. So I use half a liter bottles and it has helped me tremendously in the last five years. The second most important thing that has helped me, which I learned when I went for a retreat in Malaysia, was something called psyllium husk. It's the husk of a plant and it is the best for constipation relief. In fact, they do sell some branded names using psyllium husk as the base. Many of you might have heard Metamucil and Myrolax and stuff like that. Now, those are all processed and I do not advocate processed food. 
So you can buy raw psyllium husk in natural food stores. I buy it in the Indian store called Patel Brothers. Uh, here is the, uh, I'll show you the picture of how the box looks like. It's a green and white box. It's about, uh, I think about $4 for, uh, I don't know how much, I'll show you the box, we'll see there. So what you have, what it has to be done at the minimum is, uh, in the morning, when you wake up after you have had your water and before you have your uh, coffee or breakfast, take one tablespoon of that husk into your mouth and gulp it down with water. It has no taste at all, nothing. Uh, so it's very, very easy to take. My constipation was so severe that I uh, have it even today before every meal I have the psyllium husk. So people who have followed my advice have taken psyllium have told me once they have started taking psyllium it's like uh, they feel it's like a coating that create that is created in your uh, intestine and the bowel just moves out freely as if through an oil pipe. So let us go into this show and let me show you some pictures of the psyllium husk and what I take every day. And I will also show you some uh, research I have done on the internet to get more authentic information that diabetes and constipation are related. Thank you. So the first thing I did was went to the internet and searched for diabetes and constipation so that I can show you some uh, authentic uh, information. And out uh, you will see a lot of links, both advertisements and uh, regular ones. So I went to WebMD. So that will be a little more authoritative. So went to WebMD. So everybody is familiar about WebMD. It's considered an authoritative website regarding health. So here are the diabetes and constipation, what you need to know. Diabetes may set you up for digestive system problems like constipation. But there are many things you can do to get relief. While everyone is different, some signs that you are constipated are you poop fewer than three times a week, your bowel movements are hard, dry or lumpy, you have to strain to go, you feel bloated and then your stomach hurts. So this is what was my experience and because you have to strain to go, that led, for me, it led to a lot of blood loss. So, why it happens is there is something called neuropathy. A set of nerves called your automatic nervous system controls things like your breathing, which heartbeat and digestion. These things are some things that you cannot control. Like for example, if you want to lift a hand, you have to consciously do it. But breathing, heartbeat and digestion, you don't have to do anything. It will happen by itself. So over time, out of control diabetes can damage your nerves. About half of the people who have diabetes also have nerve damage called neuropathy. This is called diabetic neuropathy and that will lead to tingling sensation in your feet and also sometimes you will feel uh, you, you're losing sensation. So when diabetes damages the nerves that control digestion, you have trouble moving food 
through your system. You can end up with a combination of symptoms including vomiting, bloating, diarrhea and constipation. So this is the main thing that I want to share with you in today's episode and show you what has worked for me.